Information on a crash that killed four people at a homeless camp in Salem. The driver now facing charges this afternoon after the crash had also hurt three other people. Our Elizabeth Din is here with the driver's day in court and what we're learning about the victims. Yeah, Dan and Jenny. So first we'll tell you about what prosecutors say is the suspect here. 24 year old Enrique Rodriguez behind the wheel this weekend. In fact, he was in court just this afternoon. We're also learning the names of the people caught up in this crash. Jawan Beck. Luke Kagi, Joe Posada III, and Rochelle Zamacona were all killed. Derek Hart and 18-year-old Savannah Miller, they were injured and both are hospitalized. It was early yesterday morning when a car went off the road and hit the campers near Front Street Northeast and Division. Two people pinned under the car and died at the scene. Four other people, including Rodriguez, remember police say he was behind the wheel, all went to the hospital. Two of them died there. Two others have life-threatening injuries. As for Rodriguez, he faces a list of charges, including four counts of manslaughter. His mother, talking with Queen Six just moments ago, she says homeless people should not have been allowed to camp in that very area and that the city should shoulder some of the blame. But I want the city to be held accountable as well because they have all these people running around like crazy. It's not fair that he's only getting the fall for this. He did wrong. A judge denied his bail. His next court appearance is set for April 6th. Now this all comes less than two months after Portland's mayor announced a ban on homeless camps close to high crash roads. So Jenny and Dan will recall that it was just in December along 205 in southeast Portland that a car hit a homeless person's tent and killed a person there and just years ago in 2016 up north in Seattle right along I-5 a 19 year old man who was in a homeless tent was killed when a car crashed there. So certainly not a new issue but it does have people wondering do bigger changes need to be made? Yeah, I know that's why a lot of times they put those boulders out is to prevent people from camping in those pretty dangerous areas right, right off highways. Yeah. All right. Thanks Liz. Thanks.